If your tank hasn't had a cyano outbreak yet, it will. It might just be a small purple patch or it could cover your entire tank. It can take a few weeks, but it's really easy to get rid of. What is cyanobacteria? Even though it looks like algae, cyanobacteria are a photosynthetic aquatic bacteria. If you and your family frequent lakes in the summer, you've probably seen cyano blooms and those warning signs that tell you not to go swimming. Cyano colors range from green to purple, although in my tanks, it's always purple. While it's a nuisance, it's not dangerous to you or your livestock. But if it does cover your photosynthetic corals, it can starve them. How to identify cyanobacteria? For a beginner, identifying cyanobacteria can be a bit tricky, and it's easy to confuse with the much dreaded dinoflagellates. I have found that there are three easy ways to identify cyanobacteria. Number one is color. If it's purple, it's probably cyano. Number two, growth pattern. It covers everything like a mat. Rocks and sand, it doesn't matter. If it's spread out like a yoga mat and does this in a day or two, it's probably cyano. Number three, it detaches easily. Even though cyano does cover everything, there are no roots to it. If you attack it with a turkey baster or a power head, it'll come right off whatever it's covering. So what causes cyanobacteria? Who knows, to be honest. Some people say high nutrient systems, others say low nutrient systems, but I have had cyanobacteria appear in both types. We do know that in nature, cyanobacteria usually appears in the warm summer months in stagnant water. The only thing I know from experience about the causes of cyanobacteria is it's almost always found, or at least always starts in low flow areas of the tank. How to treat cyano. There are only two steps for treating cyanobacteria. Step one, increase the flow. Because cyanobacteria very loosely attaches to rock, sand, and coral, it blows off easily. So by increasing the flow in cyano-prone areas, it will just disappear because it doesn't have the strength to hold on. You can do this by turning up the flow of your wave maker, moving your wave maker to a new location so it hits those dead spots, or by adding a second power head or wave maker. The key to this working is to eliminate the dead spots as much as possible. Step two, manual removal. I just use a turkey baster, but you could also use a small power head. Since you've already increased the flow in step one, the newly freed cyanobacteria will float around in the water column until it gets sucked into your mechanical filtration. That's it. 95% of the time, those two steps will solve the problem. But this isn't a one-time solution. It can take several weeks to a couple months. Every single day, you will need to blast the new cyano that appears with the turkey baster. After several days or a couple weeks of doing this, you're probably gonna feel like it's not working, but trust me, it's working. How to increase your success rate. To make your cyano battle go faster, here are two tips. Number one, use a 100 micron filter sock and change it out daily. That very fine filter sock will clog quickly, but it will catch a lot of cyanobacteria. And replacing that filter sock daily will remove as much cyanobacteria from your system as possible. Number two, dose daily with beneficial bacteria, something like Microbacter 7. I have no idea if this helps, but I do it because it might. Some hobbyists posit that cyanobacteria takes over when beneficial bacteria and biodiversity are lacking in your system. So adding beneficial bacteria may help by outcompeting that cyanobacteria for valuable real estate in your tank. If all else fails and three months later you still have cyanobacteria, use ChemiClean. It's a reef safe antibiotic that works like a miracle cure. Follow the dosing instructions on the container and within 48 hours, your cyanobacteria will be 100% gone. As a new hobbyist, you're gonna experience a lot of firsts and some of them are gonna test your metal. This is the first video in a series called My First Challenge. Click here for the playlist and you'll be on your way with simple solutions to complex problems. And as always, everyone, thanks for watching. Happy reefing, be well. We'll see you next time.